It is the 2016 May Hemis, and uh, ladies and gentlemen, we are down to our final category, the next big thing. Don't need these anymore. <laughs> okay. I thought that was a ghost because I didn't see it. it I did, yeah, I was like, what the hell was that? I want to know what the next big thing is. Chris LaRusso, do you have an answer for Apparently me? It's flinging your notes. <laughs> yeah, jeez. The next big flame is. Uh, I want to know the, Larissa, the, who's the lucky the, lady. The next. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> if you weren't my boss. Um, all right. The, the next big thing in professional wrestling, without a shadow of a doubt in my mind, is Finn Balor. All right. I think that. Uh, I, I've been a huge fan of Prince Devitt for, uh, for a long time. And uh, I know what he brings to the table. And uh, the NXT audience is just now learning what he's bringing to the table. But as far as somebody who is the total package in every conceivable way, uh, cross-demographic appeal, amazing talent bell-to-bell, um, you know, international appeal, uh, merchandise possibilities are absolutely through the roof with a guy like this. And uh, somebody who, who just, to me, can sort of fill the, the role. A, a lot of people think that, uh, that Roman Reigns is being groomed to take Cena's spot or that Cena was groomed to take the, uh, the spot of Hulk Hogan. Uh, I could see Finn Balor being the next Shawn Michaels, somebody who has that appeal across all demographics. The, the smart marks will love him because of what he can do in the ring. The kids will love him for the, for the paint and for the presentation. The girls will love him because he's a good-looking guy. The casual fans will, will be entertained. Everybody uh, can find something to like about this guy. He has done nothing but deliver since he arrived in NXT. And we haven't even seen, with the WWE production value, with, with what they can do. We've seen little bits of it, like in London or in, or in Brooklyn. But if he gets the machine behind him, he could not only be a, a, as big a star as we've seen in the past 10 years, he could be as big a star as we've ever seen, and I truly believe that. Justin Plummer. Oh, I'm next. All Tell right. us about the future. I didn't even have to... Uh... <laughs> yeah, what was the question again? <laughs> <laughs> What's the next big thing? That's what she said. Oh, <laughs> I set you up so bad. Uh... Um, okay, so I got a couple here, but I'll narrow it down. Uh, and I'll be quick because I have to pee. Uh, <laughs> I actually do too. What? So, yeah. It's horrible. There's no bathrooms on this studio. Or else we'd have a really good podcast. Huh, Gilman? Hey! Um, all right, so you got to look. you got to look. Uh, I think Bailey has potential. If the WWE could ever figure out a way to make this transition from NXT up to the main roster and keep the momentum. Uh, you know, Bailey's got a lot of momentum. And with the Divas Revolution... And women's wrestling as a whole kind of growing and her being at the forefront of the developmental or whatever you want to call it. Um, I think she could ride that wave. Uh, Tyler Breeze is another one that comes to mind. I think they blew it with Dolph Ziggler. I always loved Dolph Ziggler. I thought he was going to be the next HBK. And at this point, it's just been cycled so much that it's watered down. No matter what they do with him, it's kind of like done. But Tyler Breeze is fresh. He's new. He's got to get out, you know, he's kind of gimmicky right now. If he can broaden up, he's a good option. Kevin Owens, of course, who knows what he's going to do. Are they going to stick with that indie-style wrestler? He's had great matches. He doesn't have the look. Uh, so are they going to roll with that, or is that eventually going to come back to haunt him? I don't know. But if I had to pick one, and I think this one still applies because he's big, but he's not on Roman Reigns' level. He's not on Seth Rollins' level. I think it's the final member of the Shield, Dean Ambrose. I think that in the next year, uh, even, that he is gonna be the one that really steps up. I don't wanna say, I know a lot of people say he's gonna be the next Stone Cold Steve Austin, I don't wanna make that comparison, but I think he's the kind of guy that has been a little bit overlooked. I mean, he's the only former Shield member not to hold the WWE World Heavyweight Championship, and, and I think he's gonna be in that picture, if not this upcoming year, maybe the following year. But I would keep my eye on him, I know he's already big, but I think he's gonna explode. Cool. No, what I do. Oh, man. Do I got to say all that again? It was just at the end. No, okay. Dean Ambrose. Dean Ambrose. I think Dean, Dean Ambrose. Deem. Deem? I think Dean Douglas is going to be the next big thing. <laughs> Dombrowski, take us home. Um, well, first, I'll answer uh, uh, my next big fling is uh, the Jumping Bomb Angels. We, oh, we, we have man. A three, we have a threesome Both? going. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Three-way dance. Oh, I'm hardcore. I'll take it. 
I, I will give anybody in this room a dollar if they can give me the name of one jumping bomb angel. Uh, I'm playing flip cup. Go ahead. <laughs> Melani Kai was not a jumping bomb angel. No, she, <laughs> she was, was on the she other was side. a glamour girl. She's a glamour Kai girl. and Judy Martin. That's Judy right. Martin. Yeah, That's I don't right. know. Norio Tatino. Oh, And yeah. Izuki Yamazaki. Duh. Dombrowski, while we're young, please. Like, <laughs> well, see, the bomb angels grew up in Japan. <laughs> Uh, I'll mention I'll mention uh, uh, one name for the future, and then I'll give my official answer. Um, one name for the future that I think is, is going to have a huge 2016 is uh, someone near and dear to my heart, and that's Johnny Gargano. Uh, he's had a lot of opportunities on NXT in uh, uh, 2015, and I've followed the guy's career since he was 18, uh, uh, coming up in Cleveland, and. I've always detected that certain it factor, that certain aura where he's not the biggest, he doesn't look the toughest, but there's something about him that people can just draw to and connect with. And, and to see him and how he was able to project and present himself at some of those resolution shows back in the day where he was the main event going 30 minutes, brawling all over the building, and really, you know, putting obviously much smaller to scale, but putting a company on his shoulders and representing in that small microcosm uh, an, an operation trying to be mainstream. Um, I, I would love to see what he's what he's able to do with with the billion dollar marketing machine behind it. Uh, I think that's in the next few years. But as far as 2016 specifically, uh, uh, I think the next big star is Sami Zayn, and, and just with the one match he had on Raw with his shoulder completely out, and for him and Cena to, to do what they did and for Sammy to get the, uh, uh, the superstar reaction, I think it was in Montreal, so yeah, that, kind Montreal. Of, that, that had something to do with it. But, but people remember that. That resonates with them. They're going to remember, they perceived Sami Zayn as a big star, so I should too. And I think once he's 100%, it's only a matter of time before we see Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens on a big stage too, and that's only going to increase both of their stars. I thought he was from Mexico. That was that, somebody that else. That was someone else. Yeah. I don't know. They look alike, though. I didn't watch that one. Folks. That uh, wasn't in 2015. <laughs> this is the uh, 2016 Mayhemies. You can head on over to WrestlingMayhemShow.com and place your vote. And you can find more videos on this very channel. So uh, just look for them. They are not far. See you in another one. Oh,